In terms of cameras, Google Pixel 7 and 7 Pro made several notable advancements this year, including a 21% wider ultra-wide-angle camera with autofocus, enhanced zoom range with better image quality at different magnification levels, at the same time many more other improvements here and there. But in the tech world, we always gonna move on to the next thing. What you can expect from the Google Pixel 8 series. Now, to be completely honest, it is far too early to make any predictions at this moment, but important piece of information has already surfaced. A leaker slash developer who has a very good history of leaking Google products said that Google Camera Go app APK actually shows something cool, that the Google Pixel 8 series may provide superior HDR performance. You're probably thinking, how? It's through a method called staggered HDR. Now you're probably thinking, what is staggered HDR? Well, in 2021, staggered high dynamic range or HDR, a quicker and more effective method of shooting evenly exposed photographs was first offered to a high-end smartphone. The staggered HDR allows the phone camera to quickly take a short, medium and long exposure image, which has two key advantages. One, improved overall exposure and less photo blur. In contrast, the Pixel 7 series employs HDR Plus with bracketing, which captures a total of five rapid short exposure photos before the user taps the shutter button, and then a long exposure image after clicking on the shutter button. So these are two different methods of capturing good HDR photos. Now, the developer claims that the possibility of tagged HDR capability might indicate the arrival of a brand new primary camera sensor for the Pixel 8 series. And more specifically, it's gonna be Samsung's ISOCELL GA2, which does support the staggered HDR. Now, hearing Samsung's name in Google products is not surprising because Google and Samsung now have a good commercial partnership. More specifically, given that the current Pixel phones already have the ISOCELL GA1 sensor inside them, plus the Tensor chips are actually modified Exynos chips. Now, the GA2 will deliver a more than just improved HDR though. Due to the Dual Pixel Pro technology and its bigger pixel size, the GN2 image sensor will also improve autofocusing and greater image quality in lower light scenarios. Now, at the time of the release of the Google Pixel 8 series, there may also be a significant modification in the design of the phone. What I mean by that is, we might see a totally different new design, even though the design language is still gonna be quite a bit same to the current pixels, like the camera bar is still gonna be there, but it will be a totally different of a look somewhat now if you're thinking what kind of look we can expect well you have to look at the google pixel fold renders that actually shows what we can expect now talking about the google pixel fold because the google pixel fold is coming on the main io event at least that's what we are expecting and leakers are saying and this is going to be google's first foldable phone with a 5.8 inch cover display and a 7.6 inch inner display that is totally different aspect ratio compared to the galaxy z fold 4 now, the camera system will still feature a 50 megapixel main camera. If you want to know more about the Google Pixel Fold, then definitely check out my recent video on that. So, as a surprise, you can actually download this new 8K wallpapers pack for free to use on your desktops, smartphones, or tablets. You can also get a lot of tech news far more quickly and free watch faces for your Wear OS or Tizen smartwatches up on my website. All the links are down in the description below. Until the next one, bye and take care.